welcome to my channel i hope you like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet this little hat with a beautiful stitch pattern it's super easy so i hope you like it now this little hat is for zero to three months but you can easily make it for any size any age following standard size measurements that i'm going to provide you with here in this tutorial you can make it from a newborn size and up to an adult size and use any yarn weight with any hook size so i hope you like it now as always if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Now, to make this little hat, this is the yarn that I used. I used DK weight yarn with a three millimeter crochet hook. Now, I used blue and white, but you can make your little hat all in one color. I used a total of 28 grams. Depending on the size that you're making, you may need less or more. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button thanks so much for watching to make this little hat for zero to three months size i'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today i'm using this dk weight yarn in white and blue you can also use any number three yarn or a ply now you can make your hat for any size any age and use any yarn weight with any hook size we're going to be making this hat based on standard size measurements and the measurements that we're going to need is the width of the crown and the total length we don't need the head circumference because that is for another type of hat we're going to make our hat from the crown down so we're going to need the width of the crown and the total length so if you want to take a screenshot of this these are the two measurements that we're going to need so the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a magic circle so to do this just wrap the yarn around both fingers like this hold it there and insert your hook through this circle and grab a loop now here you're going to chain two one two these two chains will never count now inside this circle we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets like this one two three four and so on continue until you have 12 double crochets i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making this first row I have a total of 12 double crochets now to close this circle all you do is just pull this here and that circle is going to close now to finish the row just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the second row chain two remember the two chains never count these two chains are actually there so that there's no gap between the last and the first double crochet now for the second row we're going to make two double crochets on each one of the double crochets like this so continue all around just making two double crochets at the end of this second row i'm going to have a total of 24 double crochets I'm here at the end of the second row. I have a total of 24 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain two. Now in this row, we're going to make two, then one, two, one, two, one, all around. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, which is the same one we joined, make two double crochets. Now into the next, make one. Into the next, make two, and into the next make one double and that's how you're going to continue two one two one all around at the end of this third row we're going to have 36 double crochets i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of the third row at the end of this row i have 36 double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the fourth row chain two in this row we're going to make two one one two one one all around let me show you Beginning into this first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now into the next two double crochets, make one. Into the next, make two. And into the next two, make one. And this is how we're going to continue all around. You're going to make two, one, one, two, one, one all around. At the end of this fourth row, we're going to have 48 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. 
I'm here at the end of the fourth row. At the end of this row, I have 48 double crochets. To finish this fourth row, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, this here as it is, it's measuring about eight and a half centimeters which is about, it's almost three and a half inches. If you were making this for a preemie size, you would have the measurement for the width of the crown, and then all you need to do is just continue with the rest of the hat. For me, I need to make at least one more row. So for the fifth row here, I'm going to chain two. In this row, I'm going to make two, then into the next three double crochets, I'm going to make one. Let me show you. Beginning into the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now into the next three, make one double crochet. Into the next, make two. And into the next three, make one. There, this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. You're going to make two, then one, 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 two, one, one, one. All around at the end of this fifth row you're going to have 60 double crochets okay I finished the fifth row at the end of this row I have a total of 60 double crochets so this part here is done I have the measurement that I need as it is right across it's measuring about 11 centimeters which is about 4.25 inches which is within the measurement that I need the crown width to be so it needs to be between four and four and a half inches or 10 to 11.5 centimeters. Right now, like I said, mine is about 11 centimeters, which is perfect. So now we're going to start with the pattern here. And I'm going to keep this nice and simple. So we're going to do a very easy stitch pattern, which is multiples of two, which is perfect because here I have 60 stitches. Now we're going to continue with the total length. So we're going to continue with the pattern until it measures between five and five and a half inches now if you're making your hat in any other size you're just going to continue and make your circle bigger and just follow the same sequence for example for the sixth row you're going to make two four two four and then for the seventh row you're going to make two five two five all around and just continue and increase the size of the circle until you have the measurement for the size that you're making to begin the pattern here this is what we're going to do I'm going to chain one now before we continue this little hat is going to be all in one color but if you want to change color here this is where you would do it at the end of the fifth row the crown you would just join to the beginning cut your yarn and pass your yarn through that last loop and then join the new color so here to continue we're just going to chain one and now remember this chain one here because this is where you're going to join at the end of each row now yarn over and into this same stitch which is the first double crochet make a half double crochet now into the next double crochet make a slip stitch yarn over again and into the next double crochet make a half double crochet and into the next double crochet make a slip stitch make sure that when you make these half double crochets and slip stitches they're nice and loose so that you are able to see the stitch here for example here's the slip stitch and here's the half double crochet because that is where we're going to insert the hook in the next row. So again, you're going to make a half double crochet into the next and a slip stitch into the next. And that's how you're going to continue all around. I will meet you here at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. At the end of this row, I have 60 stitches. Now to finish here, we're going to go into the chain and join with a slip stitch like that now we're going to chain one and again that's the chain we're going to join at the end of the row turn and here we're going to start with a half double crochet into the slip stitch that we did before we joined and then into the half double crochet make a slip stitch half double crochet into the slip stitch and a slip stitch into the half double crochet half double crochet into the slip stitch slip stitch into the half double crochet and that's all we're going to do for the second row the important thing here to remember is that you're going to make a half double crochet into the slip stitch of the previous row 
and a slip stitch into the half double crochet of the previous row. Now continue all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now here at the end, I have my last half double crochet into this space here, make a slip stitch. Now to finish the row, we're going to go right here, right to the side of this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. From here on, we're going to repeat exactly the same thing we did in the second row. We're going to begin with a half double crochet into the slip stitch that we did before we joined, and then a slip stitch into the half double crochet. Again, a half double crochet into the slip stitch, and a slip stitch into the half double crochet. And that's all we're going to do all around and just repeat over and over that same row. Now, at the end of each row, you're always going to have 60 stitches. Now I'm going to continue until I have this measurement. For zero to three months, it needs to be between five and five and a half inches. But what I'm going to do here is because I want uh, to add a little brim here, I'm going to stop when I have about an inch left to do the front post and back post half double crochets. You can also continue and make more rows if you want a wider brim like this you just continue and maybe do about an inch more. This is the same stitch pattern, by the way. Um, this little hat is a bit longer so that it folds like this. So that would be up to you. Continue, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. I'm almost done with this little hat. I have done a total of 14 rows. So from here up to here, there's 14 rows and it's measuring from the top of the crown to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. And if you notice, I decided to change yarn color for this little hat. I still have about an inch and a half left from the total height. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start on the brim. So if you're making this for any other size, make sure that you leave about one and a half to two inches from the total height so that you can make the brim. So here to start on the brim, this is what I'm going to do. Here at the end, I cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. So this next row, row 15, is going to be worked on the right side. So insert your hook. And now grab a loop here, chain one. If you're not changing yarn color, then just go ahead and chain one and turn. Now into the same stitch here, make a half double crochet into the next a half double crochet and into the next half double crochet. So for this row, this is all I'm going to do. One half double crochet for each stitch all around at the end of this 15th row, I'm going to have 60 half double crochets. Continue like this all around, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this 15th row, which is the first row here for the brim. I have a total of 60 half double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows 16 and 17, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain one. Now beginning into this first stitch here, make a front post half double crochet. Back post half double crochet into the second stitch front post half double crochet into the third stitch, back post half double crochet into the fourth, and so on. This is how you're going to continue for this row, just making front post and back post half double crochets. At the end of each row, you're going to have 60 half double crochets. Now to finish the 16th row, you're going to go here on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for row 17. We're going to make two rows of front post and back post half double crochets. So continue, finish these two rows, and then I'll come back and show you the finished little hat. Okay, I finished making the last row here for the brim, row 17. At the end of that row, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this little hat is all done all i need to do is just hide my ends and this is how it looks it's absolutely beautiful i love this stitch pattern now you can make it all in one color or you can do 
what I did here just change the color here for the body and then for the brim use the same color as the top of the hat here's the other little hat that I was working on this is all in white it's exactly the same as this one here the only thing is that I added the little bunny ears if you want to see this tutorial down here in the information box I'll go ahead and leave you the link for that so now the final measurement for this little hat is from top to bottom it's measuring about 13 centimeters which is a little bit over five inches so it's within the measurements for zero to three months so again you can make your little hat for any size any age using those standard size measurements so now let me try this on my little model her head circumference here is for a zero to three months size so let's try it on her perfect that's how it looks just need to hide my ends there look how cute that is you can make this for boys and girls now you can also add a little pom pom like this one here in my channel i already have a tutorial on how i make my pom poms so i'll go ahead and leave the link in the information box below so here's the finished little hat it's absolutely beautiful now if you prefer in pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box below i'll be adding the written pattern there as soon as it's ready okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time